Hello everyone. We're going to be starting with a upward facing jig hook along with a glass bead by the eye of the hook. Then you'll add your black slotted bead. Right behind the bead you start off with your olive thread and then you cut off your excess. And then we will add on to the shank is some tippet material. This is solely for durability. Since it's a jig, it will be bouncing on rocks. So I like to add this in just solely for durability purposes. And I just like to make sure that it's on there nice and good. And you go a little bit down the shank because that's when you will start your dubbing. And I use a brown olive kind of color for dubbing. And I like to make my body thick, more like a larva type body. And you'll go up back to the bead. Then you'll add green olive dubbing by the, uh, by the bead. And then you will counter wrap back up the body with the tip of material. Like I said, you barely see it and it's just solely for durability purposes. I like to make your flies bomb proof. And you finish that off. Then you do a double whip finish, again, durability. And then you will add your favorite head cement or UV resin. I always like to UV resin my flies. Once it's cured in a good point, you'll move to the next step, and that's just brushing out the dubbing. I overdo it, and then I come back and trim to where I want. You could skip this step and just leave it as is, or you could brush it out like so. I brush it out pretty good, and then I come back and give it a haircut. Just a little trim. And once you're happy with it, um, that's it. I mean, here's the Mercury jig caddis. It's quick and it works really well. Thanks for watching.